Hello, this is Ben Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts. Today I'm in Newport Beach, California, and I'd like to walk you through this 1989 Tierra 3100 Open. Let's go ahead and get started. Here at the bow, we have a Lumar windless anchor that does have foot controls, and you can control it at the helm. For the age of the boat, all the bright work looks pretty good. Um, we've got a little oops right here in the rub rail. Uh, that could be straightened out, but for a boat like this, I'm not sure that I would do that. A lot of work's been done. You can see we have new through hauls here, new cutlass bearings, underwater lights, bottom paint, uh, new head system on the boat. Uh, if you look at the listing, there's a, a more complete list of everything that's been done. But it's uh, had quite a bit of work done, quite a bit of upgrades. New Fusion stereo. Lots of uh, nice upgrades to this boat. You have three hatches in the deck. Isinglass is looking a little rough. There's some sunburning and some cracking, so that'll probably need to be replaced. There is a cockpit cover that covers this whole area here. Here's our swim platform. And we have four rod holders in the deck. Everyone that's seen or looked at this boat online or you know, has communicated with me on this boat, has mentioned how much they like the, the seating that's been done here in the back. You have a uh, ice chest storage on either side here. This access opens up for the Westerbeek generator. You've got the fish on really nice cup holders that have been added. There's four of these, very nice in size, and they do a great job. Uh, you have storage under each of these aft facing seats and then the forward facing seats have storage under them as well as you can see they just tilt forward and there you go again bright works in great shape the boat shows 2370 and 2367 um, a lot of that's been cruising around in the newport harbor there's an upgraded simrad here um, you have an autopilot and um, this is an older GPS navigation that doesn't really see much use. And then you have a multi-gauge here. And then this is the radar. You could put a radar dome on it from Simrad and run radar through this screen. Over here, we have an updated VHF radio and the head unit for the Fusion stereo systems here. Um, I like the destroyer style wheel. And you can see these teak steps and some of this teak has been refinished. Engine access is just here through the floor. Oh, one more thing I'd like to mention, this windshield here, it hinges open to let in some fresh air. Okay, as we step down, we have what you'd expect of a Tierra, the teak flooring. Here's the main he Fusion head unit, and that has Bluetooth. We have storage here. Here's your control panel and generator start. And then you have storage and speakers there behind the settee, and all these uh, gold light fixtures are new and they have LED bulbs in them. Um, the floor looks pretty good. There's a little bit of discoloration here. The old refrigerator has been replaced but it would have been the one that caused that uh, discoloration there. Um, the sofa here converts into a bed and there's a heater built in just underneath it here. Um, there is storage under the, the sofa area as well. Um, here underneath the main berth, we have storage. There's a hanging locker across the way, kind of an ingenious design. This door flips out and makes a bulkhead across this doorway. And then you have panels that flip out that are mirrored that cover this whole area here. Uh, also, there's a filler cushion. You can slide the bed a little further out and put that filler cushion in. It's really amazing on these old boats, you know, you don't see any leaking around the windows on this particular boat where you can look at other brands, you know, just a few years old and they're leaking and all kinds of things are happening. So that's really cool. Little Sansom TV has been added with a DVD player. I believe that's a Blu-ray. And here in our galley, we have great storage. Got their coffee maker there. Storage behind, storage above. Microwave and then the updated Norcold refrigerator. Here in the head, the faucet comes up and hooks in to become a shower. And you have a new vacuum flush head and tank that have been installed with all new piping and hosing. And yeah, just a nice little area. Uh, there's also 
a, uh, a hot and cold water shower out back in the transom there. Um, and that's about it for this one. She's a good boat for someone getting ready to go into boating or just wants to have a, uh, a really classically styled boat and doesn't want to break the bank to do it. Two. Okay, here's our engine room. We have two Merc Cruiser 7.4 liter engines. Um, on the meter, we're showing 2,340 hours. Um, they run strong. Don't really smoke much at startup at all. And uh, quite a bit of maintenance has been done on the heat exchangers. Several sets of new manifolds, I imagine, over its life. But these are pretty new here. And uh, the hatch lift for the port engine is in the middle of being fixed. I can only lift up the engine hatch on this side. Water heater is over here to the starboard side. Here's our through hulls and sea strainers. And then we have our battery boxes, just forward of the engines. So again, these are 7.4 liter Merc Cruiser, uh, freshwater cooled, carbureted uh, engines. And uh, they start right up and they run. I'm Ben Masonheimer for Silver Seas Yachts. You can reach me about this or any of your boating needs at 619-800-3491. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you on the water.